was fun. That I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, back to what I was trying to say. Um, I just think these are a little too urban. Because these are all, like, elevated. I don't know. Single train, dual island. I don't like these because these have um, parking lots. I don't like that. I would imagine there to be a bypass, but still, I need to figure out. Um, I did not plan ahead for what I was going to do with this area. I wasn't actually planning on filling this area in today. Um, I'm going to think about that. I'm going to keep this in my head. I will, however, do one thing that I know I want to do and cut a road straight. Not that. Not straight, apparently. Cut a road out of the collector and I am going to make this a traffic light so that is something I want to do and also straighten that up because that looked terrible okay that's our dividing line right now I think I can also make a um, shopping mall that is something that I would not be opposed to seeing in an area like this. Transit Oregana development, you would see a train station, some high density residential, just a, a touch, just a touch. No, I, I'm not either. So I, I can't imagine making anything that's straight. Um, so I'm, I'm, even, I'm even surprised that I got a 90 degree angle on that road. That that's surprising as I look around trying to find a pride flag in my office um, there's one behind me but it's the trans one um, what well it's the trans one but not the the rainbow one we don't with the rainbow ones in our room not in here <laughs> I need we I just I honestly realized that we don't have a rainbow one in here um, okay we'll have to fix that in the future but <laughs> No, we have the rainbow Christmas tree. That's our that's our gay. I need to post a picture of that on Twitter. We went to Walmart. And was it Walmart? I think it was a Walmart. Or it was five below. It was one of those. Um, and I just passed this random little, like, two foot tall, fake Christmas tree. But it's a rainbow, and I had to buy it immediately. And it's just been sitting in the corner for since December of last year so that that's our rainbow in the room <laughs> and also my graphics card because it's has RGB on it um <laughs> so I can envision I can envision a city like this transit oriented development <sighs> I know that I want a little bit of high density residential over here by the beach because that would be a natural development um that would be something that comes up with this beach community growing in general um you would see especially along the beach um, along the main road the um you would see and next to the college too you would see high density residential just happen period um I also can think in my head that this would be a different community than Aspen. So this would be a touch, maybe newer. Um, this side on the river would probably have been developed at the same time as Aspen. So this would be a historic community. But from this cut over into the, the university would be new, quote, that I'm air quoting newer development so you would see a grid and you would see some high density de residential develop just naturally especially on the coast and especially next to the um the 
universe. I'm, I'm motioning with the cursor without actually moving the cursor. I'm motioning with the keyboard. Um, however, this area would still be Aspen. It would still be under Aspen's control. But, like I was talking about on the other side of this collector, this is new property that was not developed with Aspen itself. Um, I can see Aspen... I'm going to pause this while I'm talking so nothing catastrophically breaks while I have the UI off. Um, you would see this historical part of Aspen. This... The, the part that we developed first, so like this grid, would be the most historic part of Aspen. The Lafayette family stepped in and built this in recent time because that was a holdout farm or that was blight that maybe had used to be a large factory. Um, maybe it was a large factory that was built when the city got built. Um, it was the main draw of industry and development in this community. And then when that business went bust, maybe in one of the financial crises, um, Great Depression, the factory would have closed. And then that land would have become blight. And then the Lafayette family, when they developed their estate, their farm, and in the future, they wanted to grow their influence in the community, they would have bought the blight maybe some other blocks around it that were some supporting buildings in that blight and rallied the city enough to build a new development. So that would have been this eco area and then that would have been part of the same step of Aspen rebuilding its downtown into the farmer's market that it is right now, the eco commercial that it is right now. That would have been one step, but the city historically would have continued the grid out and around this this would have been historically part of the the community it would have been industrial in the past too it's right on the river it's right it would have had river access but of course this game how this game works i can't historically have a cargo harbor so i have to develop that in the future but you would imagine that that harbor would have been there since the city was built. Um, this collector, the highway would have been new. The high, highway would have been developed after the city was built. Maybe it was a two-lane a two lane um, state route. This wouldn't have been here. This crossing would not have been here originally. Um, the state route probably would have swooped up and continued out this way out of Razor County, but this would have been brand new in the 50s and 60s when all the highways were built. This would have been part of that development. Um, maybe there was a ferry there before. That probably would have been the way that they would have gotten across, or the ferry terminal would be in on Aspen's waterfront by the Lafayettes. Um, and that's also what I'm thinking right here. I'm going to put the... Eventually, when we have the city center and we start crossing the water I'm gonna put a ferry terminal right here so that's that'll be where and that's also again why I put the bus line here was to eventually support that um, ferry terminal but this land up here would have been for the longest time farmland because the city was developed around it you can definitely see where these two neighborhoods were developed around farmland. Um, so on the other side of this collector that would have been built probably in the same era, maybe a little bit after the highway was built, maybe this was done in the 80s, because um, that would have been a big time for suburbanization was the 80s. Um, when this collector was built, when those developers bought that land over there, turned it into suburbs so people that live in suburbs like this don't like small town commercial they want high class they want to go to H&M they want to go to coach they don't want to go to 
they don't people that live in suburbs like that don't want to support small businesses so you could definitely envision maybe the lafayette family or maybe the same developers that built one of these two neighborhoods would have purchased this same cut of land I, i'm i'm really envisioning this kind of corner right here so a road maybe right here in this area you would really really see one of those developers especially a gigantic developer to build a mall like a 100 percent suburban mall parking lot around it all of that um and that would have really drove a wedge in this community because you can't have you can't one this is in the future so obviously you can't have historic homes in a place that wasn't developed in the past but you would develop suburbs around that as well so maybe so my thought right now cut a road up here in this area will be a suburban high class um commercial i'll stick just a tiny sliver of residential in this triangle and then over here again would have been a different developer but the train line is there if you think this would have been maybe 80s 90s at this point um you really would have seen a better push by specifically razor county not really aspen because aspen itself again is a nimby community they don't want stuff like this um you would see a big push by razor county itself the the full municipality to possibly even buy this land itself and develop it on its own accord without letting a developer do it themselves but the city definitely at razor county definitely would have taken it upon itself to force aspen to use this area for more than just suburbs or a mall or everything like that they would have 100 percent forced aspen to build a closer to being walkable more urban district especially around a train station and that's my thought with the end of this road is that it will end at a train station and then from here i will elevate over this collector so what i'm getting at is i just explained how some high density residential would end up in a nimby community like this this would have been a farm and it wouldn't have been developed with the city and all of these nimbies bless you all of these nimbies would have lived far enough away from it that they wouldn't be 100 percent opposed to it but also bless you um also it would have been from razor county itself so you would you would see backlash um people like this wouldn't want to see high density housing developed in an area like this um but if if you were bless you the opportunity stands right here for the municipality and aspen to build a new train station next to a mall that would drive up tax sales you know stuff like that um there would be a huge push to build a train station now part of me really 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 wants to use this train station but i don't think i can get away with that right now at least um this would definitely be somewhere closer to downtown um maybe I don't know. Uh, you would real, you really realistically would see a bypass station here um, because this would have been developed after 
Aspen. So this one is going to cause, I, I know this, but I expected this. This station is going to cause traffic issues for me in the future because this station is not a bypass. It's going to be extremely busy and this line is our direct line into what will eventually be a central station in downtown and it'll have suburban rail and this rail will possibly go out to where I am envisioning maybe I'm going to build an airport maybe I okay so I'm either going to build an airport here or I'm going to build it right here next to downtown I don't know but either way there'll be suburban rail um but the new station would have that in mind. You would develop it. You would develop a train station like this, thinking ahead of time. They wouldn't have thought about this back in the 1900s when this rail line was here and this train station was built. They wouldn't have thought about that in the 1900s. Um, they wouldn't have thought that this would be a gigantic metropolis that it will event we will eventually turn this into being a gigantic metropolis um but a station like this would definitely be a bypass bless you um would definitely be bypass i'm thinking possibly this one bless you thinking possibly this one um i really want to use this one the the ground island platform train station because it, it's cool bless you it's cool. I, I'm kind of inching towards this one, but I also think I want to put this somewhere by downtown. Maybe you would you like over here, maybe over here somewhere. Um, because this is it's gonna be a little bit. What? Good lord! Do you need a loratadine? Are you okay? Okay, you. <laughs> um. It w it's going to have high density residential, but not a lot. This is not going to be an urban center. So I don't envision. <sighs> I don't envision the city or Razor County to want to build something as flashy and, you know, architectural and flashy and expensive as this would be to build in the real world. I mean, in the game, this costs me, what? $45,000 to build, when in the real world it would be above probably two million. It, uh, that would be a lot of, a lot of money to sink into just a train station. Um, <laughs> this would be a lot of, um, they said bless you. She says thank you. Um, this would be a lot of money for something as little as this. So I... I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that would be a lot of money for someone like this to, to spend on... Um, a train station so I think I'm going to put this one down and I want to center it as best as I can at least on this road and that's gonna be about perfect so there we go. We have a new suburban rail station for Aspen. Um, and I think I want to name this area something. Um, Aspen something. Aspen... <laughs> Because this would have been named by, this wouldn't have been named by a developer. This would be named by Aspen or um, Razor County. Um, th 
There we go. Aspen Town Center. So, you see that a lot in developments like this. That even though there's a historical, real downtown, which would be this area with the farmer's market and, um, what did I name it? Aspen Nightly News. Um, the farmer's market and this, all of this would be the real, quote, historical part of downtown. But if they were developing something like this, you would see maybe Aspen or maybe whatever developer take it upon themselves to consider this to be the new center for Aspen. Um, and I think... I'm going to... This road is not gridded properly. I'm going to try my best to make this as good for traffic as I can. Um, again, unfortunately, I'm not going to use trams just yet. We're not there yet. Um, you would see something like that developed with a project like this. But other than this area... The rest of Aspen is still NIMBY land, so you wouldn't see Aspen spin the money on a light rail just yet. Just yet. Um, and I need to connect our bike path up. That is the other point of what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> so... I want to, I think these are a little bit too big for me, 680, 680, I could definitely, I could see that, oh no, what happened there, why is this off kilter? Here we go. That was really weird. So you would see just a couple of city blocks developed with this, this corridor. Um, I am going to work on this um three four no i think eight is a good amount yeah that's high enough and then i'm gonna ground this 40 units Yeah, that's enough for me. What happened to the... Why is this off slightly? What the hell happened? What the hell happened? Why is this off? Turn road guidelines off. I think that's what, what screwed me up. Um, and then 40. That should be lined up. Whoop, that should be lined up. Barely? Apparently not. How far is this out? 34. Why is that not lined up? There we go, that looks better. And then, is this... I'll take that. I'll take that as good enough for me. Um, our bike highway, I want to do something a little special with. So, right here I'm going to bring it across. 
take this away and bike road it up. No, not elevated road. Why would I want to do that? So this is 680. Oh, road guidelines. So I don't want to do too much grid. But I want to do just a little bit because that is easy and simple for developers to build would be a, um, a grid like this. Um, you would not see a connection to this collector. I'm going to take that away. Um, However, if you would, you would see it done like this. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ah! That's not what I'm talking about. Oh, good lord. Every time it opens that up, I get blinded by the white screen. There we go. So this is a light. Um, I am fine with that for right now. And I'm thinking about bringing this up to here. So no. Bike path will Come down nine units again, just like we did before, and then meet up right here. So that is how we continue our bike highway. Um, realistically, you would see... Um, the highway continue along this road. Actually, I think I want to do exactly just that until I get to right there. Um, yeah, that to me this is more. This is better. Boop. And then I'm just going to make a couple of path connections. And then end up, yeah, I'm going to end up right here. So the only reason that the bike highway is not prioritized on its own right of way is because you can't do that with these train stations. Um, in the real world, this probably would have been backed up and this would have been blown through and given its own priority through this area um however i cannot can i uh wait a minute can i can i sneakily do that Uh, where is the little bush? What would happen if I turn that off? Does that look terrible? No. What if I did this and then grabbed the nodes? Ugh. It's gonna make me do it this way. Oh no, not snapping. Moved him here. Oh. Hold on a minute. I may be able to do 
something a little special. Hold on a minute. Ha 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 Okay, so I can do that. That's awesome. Oh no, don't don't blow that up. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this. <coughs> was that a cough or was that a sneeze? Oh. Bless you. Ooh. Do the same thing right here, where I apparently can't click this. I don't know why. Do I have to take it back even farther? Really gonna make me go back that far? Really? Uh. Oh, wait, uh, I, there was something there. I don't want it on this end. I want it on the other end. There we go. Yes. <laughs> and then this. Um, I want to curve tool. There we go. Now that is what I'm talking about. So this continues our bike highway. They cross at this intersection. Um, and that prioritizes these. I was not thinking about cutting this bike trail through here. I was not thinking about that originally. Um, but that really, that's done exactly what I want. I wanted to keep these separate from each other. Because um, that still prioritizes our bike path. I couldn't do it over here. Um, there was no room to do it over here. But this still seems to be working fine. So I don't mind that. But I didn't want to have to do something weird like I did for this train station. Um, but this one, I don't mind doing that. Um, so, what I can do, however, is, um, do this, no, no, thank you. I don't want to do that either. I want a straight road. There we go. You're here. Other side. I just didn't feel like drawing that by hand for some reason. Um, my thought is... Actually, I take that away. I do want to draw that by hand. My thought is to make this a... Four lane road to continue this, and I will make this connection to here, and then if you can catch on to what I'm doing, then you are ahead of the curve. Get it curved because I'm making a curve? <laughs> I'm so funny. I want to limit the amount of bridge that I have. So I think that's going to be fine. I want to bridge this and bring it up and over both the bike path and our rail line. And then slope this down. 
that I don't know why that clicked off of there, but apparently it did. Slow. Ooh. Slow. <laughs> Looks terrible. Is this going to do a better job at sloping? Oh, no it didn't. It made it even worse. What happened? Middle. Middle. God, it looks terrible. That looks better. <laughs> and then slope tool again on this side. 5%. I don't like that. Can I get 4? I'm happier with that. Um, this node... I want to back up just a hair. There we go. So it's not clipping through the earth. This one is ugh, not fine. <laughs> Let's back you up just a little bit. Good lord, that was terrible. Um and then I'll re do you 4% eh I'm fine okay so that's how we get to the other side of the train track because I don't want to have a level crossing um good lord that was loud my alarm for 150 just went off um okay I don't want to yeah I didn't want to have a level crossing there so that is fine by me and just for a little, just for sake of doing something a little different, um, I don't want to, or I wanted to move the grid over. I wanted to swap grid directions for just a couple blocks. Ugh. Why is this doing what it's doing? Turn off road guidelines, thank you. There we go. Ugh, no. Don't destroy that path. And I'm gonna turn something off. Right there. Okay. Um, this path I want to mirror, no, I want to mirror just a little bit before we get to here. And Ugh, no, by the way. Oh, no, that's still terrible. Okay. No. Yes. <laughs> so, that's our little grid for this side. Um, I want to keep this off of... Why did this happen? Why, would, why was the grid like that? That was weird. Oh, whoops, I am using the wrong road. Um, this side, I think that's going to be... I don't want to get any closer. Uh, I can do that and then just not have any zoning on this side and make cover this in trees. Um... Yeah, I don't mind that. And... This will be the end of our four-lane road. Or at the, the last block, I'll make that the end of the four-lane road. 
There we go. Okay. 680. Still want to continue the same block pattern. And then follow that for just a short amount of time. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Um, so this would be something that would be master planned. So this would be one development done all at the same time by most likely the same developer. Um, the city would build the roads and build out the infrastructure, um, but you would imagine that pretty much everything that's in this district would be um, not the same architect, that would be the, the, the same, um, development company would pretty much build everything in here. Um, and I'm going to take that into account when I am thinking about our infrastructure that we're about to finish up for just this little block. Um, and also city services. So that is the next thing I'm going to focus on once I finish marking out this district. There we go. Aspen Town Center. So I think I'm going to do... one more thing and bring um, a pedestrian path over the highway so or over the train track um, so right here I'm gonna go nine over or ten apparently and then so that is our pedestrian connection That apparently I can't touch. No, turn grid towards staffing off. There we go. So that will be an easy way for our pedestrians to get over the um, rail line. And I want to plant a ton of trees in this area. One to mask the sound, um, that doesn't work in this game, um, but in real life, trees are um, used to suppress the sound generated by especially, you know, a train line and a highway. Um, and that almost makes, good lord, I kind of turned the density up a little too high right here, hold on, <laughs> let me fix that. Maybe just a little too many trees that my computer can handle it, but I don't want to run into the tree limit. So I don't I think just this'll be fine. And then I can delete all these ones that skirt their way into the blocks. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. And also it hides the train track too. Um some people like looking at trains, like me. I wouldn't mind 
sitting in my house and seeing a train line right outside the window, especially if I lived in a place with... <laughs> especially if I lived in a place with incredible public transit like this is. Um, I think I'm going to sneakily do something and sneak a pedestrian path across here. No. I'm going to sneak a pedestrian path across here because in the real world you would be able to enter this um, train station from both sides of the um, from both sides of the train station. You wouldn't just only be able to get in there from the one side. Um, so that is why I just did what I did. <laughs> and I don't want to connect that path because it doesn't look good. There we go. So sneaky paths. Um, to get into this train station from both sides of the of the road and I'll put down just a touch of do I have a small tree yeah I do just a touch of like manicured landscaping that you would see in a place like this um, and tree saplings apparently do I want to put I can put some apple trees down. No. <laughs> Ew. Vanilla trees. Gotta love them. Um, the rest of this would be very fenced off. Because this is, you know, an active train line. And we don't have a wall. Um, like an actual retaining wall of any kind. So you would... 100% see a fence um, put up for people not to just walk and even if this highway too you would see a fence put up not to just walk into the highway because someone would do that some dumb person would do that walk right out of their house and five steps later get ran over by a car on the highway Um, and I have just deleted some of the trees that I just put down, so I'm going to replant them by hand because these live oaks are good space fillers because they're huge. Um, and I have to continue the, hold on, continue the path through here. And it's going to delete some of the trees I just placed, but... Uh, there we go. And now I can replant those trees. Um, there we go. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of tree. Um, I say a little bit, but that was a lot of trees. <laughs> uh, frame rate, who needs it? Not me, I say. Not me. Apparently. This area, too, I want to fill with tree. There we go. Just to block the unsightliness of bridge. Um... So that is cool. I don't like that this far side's a cul-de-sac, but I will probably only zone um, low-density residential back here. Um, you really wouldn't see... You may, you may see high-density back here, but it would be very difficult to get a lot of fire trucks back here. So you would imagine there wouldn't be high density residential because you can't get fire trucks back here. So, um, 
and I realized I missed like two trees. There we go. So again, city services. I water. Remember this whole stream I've been fighting with water. I'm gonna do that first, so I don't forget to put water down. There we go. <laughs> Water for the poop pipes. And that road is not connected. I just, oh no, it didn't, it looked like it wasn't connected. Okay. And just add a little bit of redundancy. Um, fire station, I want to use this. That's what I can do. Lord, your keyboard is loud, honey. Um, I can use our wall-to-wall -wall specialization in this area. Huh, I didn't think about that. Um... Residential wall-to-wall, -wall, office wall-to-wall, -wall, and commercial wall-to-wall. -wall. That also means I'm going to redraw another district right here. <laughs> um, because I don't want this to be wall-to-wall. -wall. Remember what I just said? I didn't want this to be high density. Um, Oh, that was nasty. Hold on. Let me fix that. There we go. Ew. Okay. So, this one is not wall-to-wall. -wall, but I want this to be... Um... Aspen North, I guess. Whatever. So, high density, or high capacity fire station. Which I can put there. This is huge. But it actually fits in right here. So that's an advantage for me. And police station... We really don't have issues with crime, but eh, I'll still do it anyway. Um, and I want to continue the path constant that we have in the rest of the city, or the rest of Aspen so far. Um, I'm not, maybe. Maybe. Um. Ooh. There you go. You know what? You know what I will. I'm going to make this a... Why have I not unlocked... Oh, I need to construct a service point first. <laughs> Where are they? Where are the... In here, aren't they? Oh, I have to actually create a pedestrian area. Um, I am going to make this a pedestrian area because I have not made one of those yet and I especially have not made one of these in the city yet so I am going to take the liberty hi sweetheart I'm going to take the liberty to make a pedestrian area Uh, 
Um, I have not made one of these yet, so I this is an ad adventure we're going to have together. <laughs> um, I think I want to put this on a collector. I don't think I want to put this on a collector, but I want definitely want to put it on somewhere like this on a corner because that looks that actually looks really good. Um. And then I can paint. I know that, okay, I want to look at these first. Cobblestone and bluestone. Hmm, wait, which one was, wait, huh? This one's cobblestone, okay. So, I really like the blue stone. Like, I really like the blue stone. Um, I think that's the one I'm going to go with. I th Yeah, I think I have to go with that one. Um, blue stone... So, I'm going to consider this to be the main pedestrian path. And I- ooh, no. Uh-huh. Yeah. Cobbled it together. <sighs> um, the rest of the... I think I want all these to be tree-lined, but I wanted that one specifically to... Ooh, to, um... Be... have a median on it. Um, and I will continue that median up here. Can this be on a pedestrian road? No. Oh, garbage service point. Wait a minute. Is that something else that exists? How do I make a garbage? Building a pedestrian has limited capacity, so make sure you have enough. Huh? This needs a garbage service point. This does too. What the hell? Um, but I haven't unlocked the garbage service point yet. Three weekly garbage trucks in pedestrian area. How the hell do I make a garbage... Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna continue upgrading these roads for right now until we get to that point. Oh, whoops. I didn't make this a... Ah! That's the wrong... No. Thank you. Actually, I want both of these to be median. Yeah. Um, so the cross street will be median. So, this parking lot in this <laughs> this train station is going to be kind of useless. So, I think I'll, I will allow just one road here for people to get in and out of the train station. <laughs> that, that will be the only road. Um, the rest of them will be bluestone. The rest of them will be pedestrian paths. Oop, and this one too. Okay. So. I really like that. This will be a completely pedestrianized area. Which I have not done yet. So. Yay. 
<laughs> um. Since we just built this pedestrian area, um, I am going to start zoning some things. Remember, we have a high-rise ban, but that really doesn't affect these, I don't think. I think they just have one level of density. Um, so I think for right now, I'm not really going to worry about making sure that this is um that this has a high rise bay, even though it does but i'm not paranoid about it um the other thing i like to do in general this isn't just in these pedestrian areas i like to vary the location of especially commercial and office because it just it, it, because of the random number generation that this game has, you'll get a lot of buildings that develop right next to each other that are the exact same asset. So sometimes it's nice just to break up that chance by mixing in some other options for the game to choose from. Um, so it just makes the the city feel a little bit more real and alive rather than having everything be the same building right next to each other. I will need power in this area, but I am going to start letting it develop first while I draw my power lines. So this has power. Come on, jump the power. Come on, jump the power. Develop these for me. Develop this line. Make this line. Come on. These look so good. This would 100... I, re I forgot what update just came out. Because I was so not in the mindset of using these these assets um but this is 100 percent something you'd see this would have been brand new in the 90s early 2000s they would have built this whole area just like this with these assets so i was not even thinking about this um and i very very much need power to jump across here um for the love of god just develop, like, two more properties. Come on. No. <laughs> it's not what I want. There. Take your power. I'm gonna wait for this to... put something right here that jumps the power across. Come on. You're so close. It's so close. Come on. Let me delete that power line. Let me delete the power line. Come on. Come on. Really? You're really going to be like that? Oh, it's so close. It's so annoying. When I'm trying to speed the game up, just... Yes, finally. Thank you. Now I can do play on one speed again. Okay. Everyone still has power. That's what I wanted. Now I can fill the rest of this in with zoning. Are there assets for low-density commercial? That I don't actually know. Um, I don't know if there's... And what about, so this is an experiment. This is an experiment for me to see if there's assets. There are. 
Hold on, what do they look like? Do they look any different? Huh. So I didn't have to make all of this high density commercial. Could have zoned just a little bit of. Question for me though, are if there is low density residential that it counts for this. This looks so good already. Oof. High cargo traffic. Yeah, you think? Do I have a bigger one now? Where can I place this that makes more sense? I want to put this on a frontage road right here. So I want to count this in the same area, but I want to put it, oh, not that. I want to put this over here. Have I unlocked a garbage truck yet? Or have I unlocked the garbage service point? I guess not. Good lord, it's creating a ton of traffic. Can I move this elsewhere? I think I want to move this right here. Yeah, because that's out of my area of making a ton of traffic in this area. Ooh, I do want to make red on red, though, for both of these. Keep that a traffic light, but don't, I just want these to be yield. Yeah, I just, I, I don't want um, people to stop for the traffic coming in and out of the pedestrian area. Oh, and we have people using our bike path. That's exactly what I want. Yes. Oh, I need to connect that up to here. Whoa, that's having some weird stuff going on. No, I didn't want to... There. That's what I want. These look so good. There are low-density residential. Oh, okay. So I'm going to zone a ton more low density residential cuz I don't I don't need all of this to be high density residential. Yeah, I can zone I can still zone a little bit, but I'm I want most of this to be, at this point, low-density residential. So just just this center, this just this part of the center I want to be um, high-density, but the rest of this can be low-density residential. Have I unlocked anything else? Um, large pedestrian area service point. That's what I want. So you can go away. And you can exist now. High cargo traffic. Well, you know, if you would give me the other assets. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't. Shit. <laughs> I had put. I had, I literally just talked about how education would have been planned at the same time and everything would have happened all at once, and I literally didn't even put it put schools down yet. Whoops. Okay, so that should help just a little bit. <laughs> Oops. Um. Buses. I want to bring through here. And up through our pedestrian area. What was that? Oh. And I want to have a couple st of stops every couple of blocks. Um, there we go. And this I want to turn into a bus lane. So the buses have priority here. This one I'm fine with not being buses because I, I want just a little bit of parking. Why is everyone stopping right here? Just go. There's literally nothing stopping you other than the people flying through on bicycles. I I randomly just was like, hey, I can draw I can draw a um train route between these two, but I don't think there's a lot of back and forth traffic for that yet. Garbage is piled up. Oh, because you're on the normal road, so you I actually need like a real like trash service over here. Um this is six wide. Whoop. There we go. It has power. It has water. It has power. Yep. Yeah. I think I want to move that here. Um, and then, have I unlocked the other? Yes, I have unlocked the large cargo service point. Which, where the hell am I going to place it? I've changed my mind. Um, I keep moving these around, I know. <laughs> there we go. Um, and then I will need this in the future. I want to just, there we go. Okay. What are you complaining about? So this is fine for me right now. Um, this is something that I am proud about. Um, why did I place this if there's only, if there's no fire here? <laughs> I don't know why I placed this um, compared to just the regular fire station, but whatever. Um, and there's only three patients at this entire hospital. <laughs> I could have just put a normal hospital down. You know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna change my mind. I don't want this to be here. I want a regular hospital. Um and I don't want this here, I want a regular 
fire station. No, I want to move it. Whoa. And I want to redraw my path, take that away, and put housing back. There we go. That I am happier with. And also, apparently these can get on the bus road, so I think that's actually a better use of that. Um, okay, we're doing good. I should probably put some parks in this area. Oh, well, I'm about to unlock that for some reason. Okay. Huh. This has gone very well. I am very excited of how how this is going. Um, I'm going to take a picture of this for thumbnail sake. Nice. Ah! 